signs. Fire signs. Yes, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ooh, Spirit, what do you have for my fire sign collective? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Ooh, that's what the powers to be. Watch over me during this reading. You all know how I see you read. Please help me interpret these cards as you see fit. God protects me. God fights my battles. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, nor shall it prosper against my collective. I call upon Archangel Michael to watch over and protect as I receive the energy from my fire sign collective. Fire signs. Fire signs. Ace of Cups and the Empress. I like that. This could be uh, the Empress finding self-love. This could be uh, a new relationship. This could be a, maybe a new marriage. Someone's really in love. Someone's got a lot of love to give, a lot of love to show. Hmm, I'm liking that. Sag. this deck up spirit we're gonna do three cards past present future and a bonus love past four of pentacles present ten of wands future five of cups <laughs> the bonus love is the two of swords <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay fire signs you fucking love yourself okay stay in that empress energy okay because uh, obviously someone here has got some fucking regrets. Okay? Okay, fire signs? Yeah, because someone ain't moving away from a situation. They're just juggling. Because we got the two of pentacles here. We got the two of swords and the bonus love card. So you know what? Someone ain't moving. They ain't moving and they ain't making any decisions. Someone might come in with a little offer of love. Okay? But I think someone just wants to come out of the fucking cold because there's still some shit going on in the background that you don't know about. Okay? Yeah, this uh, King of Wands energy that might be coming towards you, Jesus Christ. Sag. 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 You showed up in your reading, but you're in the reverse. Yeah, this, this King of Wands energy, want to come in all passionate? Now you are... You are the fire signs, but I don't, I don't think this is you. This is someone wanting to come towards you with the passion to start, right? Here you are, Sag. You're in the reverse, though. Someone ain't healed. The magician, the uh, temperance in reverse, the magician in reverse, and the page of swords in reverse. Whew. Okay, I think you blocked somebody. You've prevented them from getting any access to you because you know this person is just a hot fucking mess. Am I right, I keep wanting to say Sag. Am I right, fire signs? So you might be dealing with a Sagittarius for me to call out Sagittarius, okay? But, yeah, this person's like a hot fucking mess. And you, I think you know that. Because you have blocked them. I mean, you have put a fucking firewall around you. Because you're the empress and you're all about love. But I think you realize that this isn't quite what you'd want to sign up for. The Sun, the Eight of Swords in Reverse, the Eight of Cups in the Upright, and the Knight of Cups. It's Someone knows they'd be happy once they get out of this mental block. I think this King of Wands energy might see happiness... But they, they're going to have to work on themselves. They're going to have to do some fucking... They're going to have to do something. If they want to get this happiness. Because we got the Eight of Cups. Followed by the Knight of Cups. You know... I'm getting the energy that someone's just chasing somebody. Somebody's just chasing somebody that maybe don't fucking want them anymore. Okay? With the Eight of Cups here and then the Knight of Cups behind. Someone's walked away and someone's just wanting to come in and chase their ass.
The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in the upright. The uh, Six of Wands in reverse. This feminine energy didn't win out in the end. You know, she lost. The High Priestess. Yeah, I think someone's just waiting for somebody to put their guard down. I'm, uh, the Lovers and the King of Swords. Someone's not telling you about a situation. You're not going to see the truth. Someone's, uh, you know, could very well be lying about being in a relationship with somebody. The Two of Cups in reverse, which is causing conflict. Conflict because these people aren't together. Conflict because these people are breaking up. Ooh. Good Lord, fire signs. What's this two of swords? What's this two of swords decision about? Obviously, by reading the bottom of the deck, we read the fucking story here. Why can't we have just a simple reading about love? Because. Yeah. Eight of Cups, Nine of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Hermit. Okay. Someone's on their spiritual journey. Someone is, is, is learning and growing. And they're ready to communicate. Okay? But this kind of has them in a quandary. Because they're either... They're guarded. They're guarded because they, they know they have to walk away from a situation. Or they're afraid that when as they walk away, whoever they're moving to is going to be guarded. Or someone is too afraid to let down their guard to move away from a situation that they are trapped in. Forgive me, but y'all just fucking drain my energy, fire signs. Because someone obviously has held, held on to something, carrying the fucking burdens, and still... Carrying the fucking burdens. Future energy. What is this five of cups about? Clarify this five of cups. Now, I tell you, this has just been cautionary tales in love. Everyone I've read for today. It's like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this energy, guys? Uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's afraid they're going to lose their stability. Mm. You know, guys, uh, I mean, a Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe this person isn't single. Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. Maybe this person's coming towards you and you know they're not single. I don't know. It's not a good energy. So, um, fire signs, when it comes to love, uh, yeah, it's the same as air signs, guys. This is like a cautionary tale. Someone is still holding on. Someone's holding on to the past here. Hey, birds. Still at the fucking river of regret. This person is just a hot fucking mess. They're a hot fucking mess. Okay? And when it comes to love, they can't even make a decision here. Now, we get the hermit in reverse and the high priestess. Someone might know the right thing to do. Someone might be being guided to do the right thing. Are they... They're too guarded to walk away, or they know when they walk away, whoever they're walking towards is going to be guarded. It's it, There's like, a, it's a cautionary tale. Someone comes towards you, you know what this relationship, this person, whatever the fuck it's about. <sighs> Guys, you know, use your head. Ask the questions. Tap the brakes, okay? Whatever someone's got going on, that they ain't even close to being healed, okay? 
Maybe it's it's healing from a past relationship before they can move towards you. Maybe it's you that needs to heal from a past relationship before you can move forward. But there is just so much. It's like a stagnant energy. Someone is just stuck in a loop going through the same fucking thing. Holding on to regrets. Holding on to shit they don't need to. <sighs> The ray of light is that there was the hermit in reverse and the um, high priestess. So someone is gaining clarity. Now that clarity could be to just move the fuck away from this situation. Because we have the eight of cups. Okay. Someone knows they need to move the fuck away. So if you get the feeling you need to move the fuck away. Just move the fuck away. You need to avoid this. You just need to avoid this fire signs. Where, where's the happy, passionate energy at? Damn. Y'all killing daddy. 